This video is to show you how to add percussion. There's lots of different ways to do it, but we're going to go back to the simple way that we started with in the seventh grade. So we've gone full circle at this point. And we have our AAB or our AB song or whatever you have. Don't worry about um, what you have done so far and whether or not it's the greatest song on the earth. Just um, add your percussion by going up to the parts and hit add part. And we're going to stick with unpitched percussion because if we use pitched, we'll have to know what notes we can and can't put in here. The same rules apply for those notes that are in the chords. You can use the ones that are not in the chord. The chord. You um, have to treat as passing tones. So I'm going to start with what we did last year, first thing, seventh grade. We added a bass drum. We had no music to go with it at that point or as far as uh, melody and harmony goes. But now we've got the melody and the harmony built, so this will be cool. I'm just going to put in the bass drum and make it a half note. Don't forget to make sure that you have your note cut right in half by the line or it will play nothing. If you put it in any of the white space above or below, you won't hear anything. So see, I had to pull it up. Okay, now if you have your edit tool up, remember you get your tools by going over here. If it's checked off, then it's one of your choices that you have up in your little work board here. If you have your edit tool up, you can just click on that measure and go to the copy. And then you can click on the next measure or whatever measure you want it in. Remember, you don't have to be fancy. Keep your bass drum nice and simple. It's just helping to keep the beat. And I'll go down here. Our score is getting so big, it's taking two sheets to show the music. All right, I'm gonna, and I think you could probably light up four measures and do copy paste more quickly, but I'll just finish it out this way. All right, now let's hear a little bit of our piece with the bass drum in it. Make sure we're starting at the beginning. Okay, that sounds good. I'm going to add something else because at this point we're just playing around to see what we can do. And I'm going to put in an unpitched percussion. Let's add the guira. That'll be interesting. Okay, so there's my spot for my guira. Now, make sure it's on that line. We'll play on this line or that line. Okay. And this is a small little, how do I, scratchy kind of instrument. So I'm going to actually make it into eighth notes. Okay. Let me hear what that sounds like. I don't think I need the guira to play every single beat, so I'm going to copy and paste this measure. There we go. And let's see what that sounds like. Back to the beginning. I think you get the idea. Just choose some percussion instruments. You only have to do one, but why not play around with a few different things and see what it's like. Don't forget that if you actually put um, the whole five lines and four spaces, that every line in space is a different drum or cymbal. Um, so if you do it that way, it'll be a little bit different. You'll have to get the notes right in the line or space of the drum or cymbal that you want. But for everybody that doesn't want to venture into that, just pick one single instrument and don't get too fancy with it. It will actually outdo all the music that you have. All right, I hope this helps. And until next time, have a great day.